familiarizing themselves with uh, different levels uh, in price point and quality of uh, different types of spirits, vodka, whiskey, gins. Really very easy to upsell. How do you choose liquor? Um, I get a lot of great opportunities to do tastings with various brands um, that are offered. Uh, and sometimes it's very tempting to choose the things that I like yeah. to stock the bar with. Um, but I think uh, the best rule that I've learned is to always have a certain baseline of, of, of liquors and, and product that are very well known that people will gravitate towards. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you have to balance that with introducing new spirits mm -hmm. and giving your bar um, the presence of having variety yep right but what you also don't want is to have so much variety where it's all sitting on your shelf and yeah. you're locking in all of your cash flow and you, you you may have a beautiful back bar but yeah you know just by the looks of it <clears throat> this looks like you're more whiskey driven is that true uh it's it's really just driven by the demand of, of this restaurant so yes uh there's a high uh, consumption in terms of different types of uh, whiskeys and different types of tequilas and mezcals versus vodka you know most people will gravitate towards their one or two picks so we don't have a very large range of vodkas um, so really it, it's it's a reflection of of the demand here at the restaurant this is a busy place it already looks like you've served very so quickly and, and, and especially the business hours people would walk in yeah. here and go home and have a drink but for a non-busy place you know how would you optimize uh, a second sale or let's say upsell any techniques you in your career you think yeah. that it, it works um the most successful uh way to upsell it at our at our bar is really to educate our cocktail staff and our bar staff mm -hmm. um, familiarizing themselves with uh, different levels uh, in price point and quality of uh, different types of spirits, vodka, whiskey, gins, really very easy to upsell. A customer might come in and say, I'll just have a well gin and tonic. And all the server or bartender has to say is, have you tried Bar Hill? It's amazing, it's made from raw honey, you know, it won a couple of spirits awards this year. No problem, you know, uh, it's an easy upsell. Uh, all it requires is that uh, the cocktails and the cocktailers and the bartenders are- uh, say something. Yeah. yeah, you just have to ask. Uh, in this business, you're not selling them a car, you're not selling them you know, insurance, yeah. you're selling them something that they're gonna enjoy immediately. Yes. So it's just a very small step for them to really get a better spirit in their glass or, or have a better uh, cocktail. Um, and we don't expect our, our cocktail staff to know every single bottle, but what we say is, hey, choose one or two upsells in each spirit category. So have your go-to upsell when someone orders a Manhattan. Say, oh, you know, have you tried, you know, can I offer you Woodford Reserve? Or can I offer you Bar Hill Gin? Or can I offer you Belvedere? You know, they don't have to know every single spirit in the book, but just have something on hand. Same yeah. with wine. Yeah. They don't have to have some everything on in their heads, but just something in their in their heads that they're comfortable selling. Mm -hmm.